this video. In this video, I'm going to illustrate the main features of a good research proposal. As a fourth year student, I think you are now aware that you are going to begin to do your research project. And as a requirement, you are required to do a research proposal before you embark on the research project. The main components of a research proposal include a working title, the background of the study, a statement of the problem, sub-problems, objectives, questions or hypotheses, the significance of the study, assumptions, the conceptual framework, the methodology, which includes uh, the population sample, the delimitation, delimitations, and then the definition of terms as well as the calendar the timeline and the budget and to top it all you have to state the references so in this video i'm going to go over all these basic components uh, illustrating the main components of each one under the working title you are supposed to come up with the title of the research project. The title draws attention to the area of study and variables to be studied. The independent and dependent variables must be identified with certainty. It, also, it is also wise to identify those variables that are likely to intervene and influence the process of investigation and seek appropriateness appropriate strategies to control and minimize their influence. So from the working title, you go to the background of the study. Under this section, you are required to highlight the nature of the problem that needs exploring. It also establishes the contextual and conceptual frameworks that characterize the problem. Finally, the background identifies the gap in the knowledge, literature, or a theory that the study intends to fill in. From the background we go to the statement of the problem. And under, under this section, you are expected to describe and explain what is to be studied. The sub problems, objectives, questions, or hypotheses are the next items. And this guide the study to operationalize the research processes by identifying specific aspects to be explored. The significance of the study is also an important component of the research proposal. Under this section, you are expected to show why the study deserves to be undertaken. The researcher must also identify the major stakeholders who are meant to benefit from the study. For example, if you are doing a study on the psychological challenges of uh, orphaned and vulnerable children, the significance, under the significance of the study, you are expected to illustrate how the subjects, in this case orphans, are meant to benefit from this, from your study. So you are expected to illustrate the various stakeholders. The assumptions are important as they guide the study. There are statements that the researcher knows to be true, but cannot easily verify. The conceptual framework involves uh, identifying, referencing, analyzing, relevant literature and theory to help conceptualize the problem. It is also used to complement the background to the study by further clarifying issues that needs exploring. So under this section, you are expected to look at the various issues and how they are linked to each other and how they can complement the background to clearly explain the issues under investigation. 
the methodology and population or the sample is another section of the research proposal under this section it serves to clarify the process and techniques that will be used to collect present and analyze data this part of the research proposal further identifies the population and the sampling techniques that will be used in collecting information under this section we are expected to, to clarify how and uh, the methodologies that you expect to use in collecting data so we are expected to come up with the research design the sample the sampling techniques and the data collection methods as well the data techniques that we use to to analyze the collected data the delimitation under this section you are expected to delimit the physical and conceptual boundaries within which the study will be undertaken so this section will illustrate the sections you can even explain the area where you are carrying out the study and the expected issues that are going to be illustrated under the limitation these are practical issues situations or concerns that the researcher identifies is beyond his or her control but which are likely to influence the research results thus affecting its validity reliability and generalizability for example yeah, during this covid 19 era a researcher can face challenges in terms of collecting data whereas initially one might have uh, one might have uh, stated that they will collect information from 30 schools in uh, in an area but due to the covid-19 regulations and protocols one may not be able to visit 30 schools so he or she might be able to visit at least five and of those five one might not be able to meet all the students or expected students that one might initially have thought of visiting so it becomes a limitation in carrying out the study so one has to explain these challenges clearly and how they might affect the whole study and thus influence the validity reliability and generalizability of the that particular study this is an important section of the research proposal the definition of terms is another key component under this section the researcher identifies those terms and constructs that are subject to varying and conflicting understanding and explain them within the context of the study for example a term like uh, child may be problematic so in a particular study one needs to explain what he or she means by child in the, because there are so many so many definitions one might have to explain whether they mean it by child they mean one from zero to five years or a child might mean anyone below the the legal age of majority which is 18 years or anyone between zero to 16 so one has to be clear what they mean about the term child and thus the definition of terms comes in to clearly explain whereby the researcher will be saying during in this study these terms mean this particular the, these terms have these particular meanings so that if uh, one is 
his or her opinions and they differ from that of the researcher, the researcher would have clarified his or her side. Another important aspect is the timeline or the budget. And this sets out the activities to be carried out against a given time frame and the cost. So it is important for, for anyone carrying out a research to have a timeline and budget. This will help you and guide you when you miss certain targets. The timeline will remind you where you of offer the challenges and as well as illustrate the costs for each particular activity. So this is an important aspect. Finally, one is to show the references. In this show, the literature that has been consulted and one must make use of the American Psychological Association, APA, referencing style. I think you, by now you are now aware of the APA. So this is uh, the way you reference your, the sources that you might have used in writing your research proposal. And finally, I ask you to subscribe and support our efforts so that we will be able to continue to give you these videos. Thank you and God bless you.